The following is a production of New Mexico State University. New Mexico, the chilly capital of the world. Known for clear skies, wide open spaces, and agriculture. Farming has been an important part of New Mexico's culture since before it became a state in 1912. The fertile soil, temperate climate, family tradition, all of these factors make New Mexico an attractive place for vegetable cultivation. But the moderate winters, especially in northern New Mexico, limit the growing season to only about six months, from May through October. Some small-scale farmers use greenhouses to grow crops over the winter months, but the high cost of building a greenhouse can be prohibitive for most growers. So here come cold frames to the rescue. Sometimes called hoop houses, cold frame greenhouses can extend the growing season up to 12 months for many crops, allowing some of the hardier varieties to grow year-round. They cost only about a dollar per square foot to build or about $450 for a 480 square foot greenhouse. At that price, many small-scale farmers, as well as home gardeners, are utilizing cold frames to keep producing crops throughout the winter. In addition to being affordable and practical, cold frames are easy to build and cheap to maintain. Del Jimenez with New Mexico State University's Cooperative Extension Service is the resident expert in cold frame construction at the Alcalde Science Center in northern New Mexico. Jimenez and a group of local growers got together to build a new cold frame at the Science Center. This size of the greenhouse is going to be 17 foot wide and it's going to be 32 foot long. Now the length can be any length that you guys want it to be. Uh, but for the piece of land that we have over here, we're going to dictate it to 32, 32 feet. But uh, people come up to me and say, well, I, I don't want something that long. I want it shorter. What can I do? Well, you can make it shorter, okay? And you make it shorter by just cutting off the segments of these pipes that you need over here. Well, we normally put these, these pipes in the frame uh, about in four-foot lengths, okay? So, so uh, the building is going to be 17 by 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, okay? The actual size of any finished cold frame can be designed to suit your own unique needs. Some of the important factors to consider in designing your cold frame include available space, desired crops, and budget. Jimenez worked out a materials list of just exactly what would be needed to construct this particular cold frame. 